me just actually turn this around. Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to our meeting today all about breast health. Well, not all about breast health, but we're going to be covering some massages with your gua sha, with the dry brush, essential oils to use, and things like that. Um, so keeping the breast area is very important to our overall health, right? It's important that we're always moving things from head to toe so there's no stagnancy in the body. Stagnancy means that things are not flowing and moving uh, like they should be, right? It's like there's little blockades, little blockages and obstacles along the body. And the more obstacles there are, that means fresh nutrients, clean blood, clean oxygen cannot get as efficiently to the places that they need to get to, um, which obviously isn't the best thing. So let's get right to it. I'm going to go over today, dry brushing for the breast area, um, using your gua sha on the breasts, and uh, a DIY uh, breast oil that you can use. So I have a bit of a um, PDF here that I'm gonna pop up to share with you guys. Share the screen. Okay, so we're gonna show a couple images um, of the breasts in the lymph nodes, the lymph pathways, so you can kind of get a better idea, visualize how you wanna be massaging, which directions, um, the importance of kind of what's behind the tissue. So the lymph system is a circulatory system made up of lymph vessels, which are much like blood vessels. It drains extra fluid, which is the lymph, that is passed out of the blood and into tissues, and then returns back to the blood. So the thing about the lymph system is, unlike the circulatory system that automatically runs, right? It just got it, it can't stop. It's got to just keep doing it. You need it to live. The lymphatic system needs manual stimulation. That's why things like washa, dry brushing, massaging, exercising, jumping, jumping on a trampoline, these things activate your lymph to keep moving to start moving and to do its job. So adding these things into your daily routine is really important to make sure that your lymph is not like filling up with garbage. Um, you need to make sure that it is catching what it needs to and excreting it. So lymph is clear fluid that contains lymphocytes, a type of white blood cell that fights germs, foreign substances and abnormal cells like cancer cells. Lymph also has macrophages, another type of white blood cell that helps to fight infection, right? So you know when you're getting sick, you've had your lymph nodes swell up under here. That is the macrophages and the lymphocytes going to work, going to the area of infection and trying to fight them off. So lymph then collects some waste products, bacteria, damaged cells from inside the body's tissue so that they can be removed from the body or destroyed completely lymph drains into lymph vessels. So it's like a whole bunch of tiny little meridians or tiny little pathways with lymph nodes along the way. So lymph drains into lymph vessels that carry it into lymph nodes. Lymph nodes clean the lymph, right, that fluid of the bacteria and the infections that they have collected and add more lymphocytes to it to continually kind of kill it out of the body. So some essential oils that are really helpful if you're gonna do a DIY breast massage oil. I've just listed a few, I don't wanna overwhelm you, but we've got frankincense, often called the king of oils. Um, it's an excellent oil for inflammation, which is um, important because the lymph will collect a lot of inflammation. Um, it's also known to support healthier, healthy cellular function when used internally. When inhaled or diffused, it promotes feelings of peace, relaxation, satisfaction, and overall wellness, which is important because all of those feelings help to decrease your cortisol, which helps to decrease inflammation. Thyme is a nice one too, thyme essential oil. Of course, all of these essential oils you're mixing with a carrier oil. Um, 
with a specific chemistry that supports a healthy immune system, thyme is a potent warm essential oil that holds powerful cleansing and purifying properties. So that is always great for the breast area and grapefruit. So really any citrus is awesome for cleansing, purifying, and just detoxifying. Um, but grapefruit is renowned for its cleansing, purifying properties, and frequently used internally for detoxing the liver, as well as in skincare for its ability to promote the appearance of clear, healthy looking skin. So these are three really great ideas for um, your own DIY breast massage oil. I will list in the notes below how to make your own, but it's pretty easy. I like to use almond oil because it's super high in vitamin C and has a lot of antioxidant kind of factors to it. Um, I generally put it in like a four ounce bottle in my shower, and then I'll add a combination of essential oils to it. I'll probably add about 30 drops altogether for four ounces. Um, of course, you want to use ones that help to detoxify and purify the tissues, but it's also okay to add in ones that you just like the smell of too. It doesn't have to be totally for um, cleansing purposes. Let's see if I had it. Okay, so that this is the actual massage uh, for your breasts, but I want to show you guys um, a couple images that I had downloaded. So you can kind of get a better idea of the lymph nodes here. So you can see, um, hopefully everyone can see this. So you can see here, oops. sorry, let me just bring this over. Okay, so you can see here the lymph nodes, the lymph vessels, and if you are used to gua sha, you know that this is kind of the area draining is a big important part to finish off your gua sha moves with. And this is a really important area to drain into, right? That big, large muscle down your neck, right behind your collarbone. These little dots all along the way are your lymph nodes. And then we've got the vessels here at the end going into your arm, your breast area the nipple area and into your armpit over here. So you really want to be pushing into this pathway. You want to be massaging and pushing up um, and out to fill anything that you might be gathering, any infection, any waste, any bacteria. You want to push it out into the lymph area so that the body can continue to drain it and waste, drain it and waste kind of it out of your body, if that makes sense. So we've got a lot on either side of the breast and the armpit area, the chest as well. The chest is going to be really important. The, the neck and the chest is going to be really important to massage and work out because this is like, there's a lot of just connecting muscles here, right? So breast health is also about the health of the area around it um, because we are all one, we are all whole. So you can't work on one part of the body um, and just specifically try to like centralize that. You really should work on the areas around that place as well. We've got that one. And then I have another picture over here that I want to show you. And this one here is just a little bit more close up, a little bit more detailed. Again, coming down that nice big neck muscle into the chest, branching off onto the left and right side, kind of circling the breast and going close to the nipple area. And then going around the outer side of the breast in to the armpit as well as down the underarm. So just kind of visualize that um, when you get your gua sha or your dry brush out. So if we're looking at this image here, um, so if we're looking at this image here, you want to, if you're dry brushing and you just want to kind of concentrate on the breast area. So I used to dry brush every day, a couple times a day when I was breastfeeding, I didn't want to get mastasis. I was really nervous to get any kind of infection or engorging in my breasts. So dry brushing and, and gua sha, I swear, helped me. I never got any infection, but you're going to start in your neck area. I'm just going to do some nice up and down motions on this um, kind of big muscle right here. And then you just start sweeping out. Of course, this is probably gonna be done on bare skin. 
You're just gonna start sweeping out and towards the armpit. So go um, on top of your collarbone, under your collarbone to wake up the lymph nodes there. And then you're kind of going on an angle down towards your armpit, armpit, armpit. Don't worry about being perfect. And then I'd like to just hold the top of my breast and circle around the one side. And I do each stroke, you know, five to 10 times, remembering to breathe as well. And then you can go under the other side. So on the outer side of your breast and up towards the armpit, as you can see on the diagram there, just kind of follow that path. And then I just kind of cover the middle of, of the breast and I do some small, short, quick strokes up into the armpit. If you feel any areas that do have some swollen lymph nodes or are tender, spend a little bit of extra time. So don't go harder there, just spend a little bit more extra time doing some extra strokes there. And then I like to actually do right under and into the armpit. And I also go out that little portion on my arm. I go the one way and then I go the other way into the armpit as well. Okay, and that's dry brushing. And then you're gonna do the same on the other side, going down this nice big neck muscle, waking things up, going behind the collarbone five strokes, on the collarbone five strokes, and under the collarbone stro five strokes. And when you're doing that, I'm taking these strokes all the way to the armpit. And then you kind of go on an angle, following that nice path of lymph nodes that go to, from your collarbone to your armpit. And then I go, I'm trying to reverse this. And then I hold the top and I just go outside. I follow the breast line on the outside, going towards the nipple. And then you're gonna kind of go on the outside. This is how I'll do it with this hand. Now, when using a dry brush, you're not using an oil, right? You're doing this completely dry on the skin. I'm actually using our facial dry brush because the bristles are so soft. Sometimes some of the dry brushes for the body, um, the bristles might be a little bit too coarse for you. They also might not be. Um, in any case, find what is comfortable for you, what it feels the gentlest, the most comfortable. And when you're dry brushing, again, you're not gonna be using the oil. So you might be dry brushing. And then if you don't have a gua sha, you might just be doing a quick breast massage afterwards with your DIY um, breast oil. Okay, and then I'm gonna go into the armpit. So I'm just kind of going where the breast starts up here or where it feels like it starts into the armpit. And I'm kind of going back and forth. And then into the armpit, above the armpit and in. And that's it. When I'm in the shower, I have a long, um, wet brush that you can buy online or in the shop. You may have seen it, you might already have it. That's the one I use in the shower. So I do the same kind of motion as this dry brush, but I will do it in the shower with a wet brush. And in that case, you could use the massage oil um, as well as a wet brush. So do I do all these things every day? No, absolutely not. I might only do these things a couple times a week, but when I'm in the shower, regardless, I always move my breasts, I always move my boobs, massage them. Um, Cause like I said, it's important that nothing stays stagnant in our body, that everything is always getting some type of movement, some type of, some type of exercise. Okay, now we'll move on to the gua sha. So gua sha is used with an oil. You need that kind of slip in order to get um, the tool moving like you want it to, to be moving effectively and to be getting kind of nice results. Otherwise, it's a little bit harder for it to glide and slide on the skin. So you might um, make your own 
DIY oil with the almond oil. You could also use olive oil, apricot, jojoba is beautiful. Like I said, I just like almond oil because it is, um, it's a warming oil, it's high in vitamin E, it's got lots of antioxidants, it's not expensive. So you could also use it for multiple other things. And then you could add the essential oils you like, like a citrus oil for cleansing or detoxing, right? Grape, fruit, lemon, lime, um, sweet orange, tangerine, things like that. We went over thyme is really great to add into your breast massage oil and frankincense to decrease inflammation all over healer. Of course, lavender does that as well. Um, so you just make whatever makes you feel good. Let me get rid of the screen and then we'll just go full screen. Okay, so next we're gonna do with the gua sha. And it's the same kind of thing. So we are gonna just drain down our neck. We're gonna open up this nice big neck muscle. And then I like to just go up and down the neck to gently warm it up. And once you've done that, if you do feel any swollen lymph nodes here, I like to use the teeth edge of my gua sha and kind of just go back and forth. And then you're going to go above the collarbone. I'm just gonna take this off. Okay, it's gonna go above the collarbone. Of course, this is easier without a t-shirt on. And below the collarbone. This feels really good because I feel like our chest here, it's often a little bit tender. We use it a lot, we don't realize. And here you're using your gua sha almost flat, right? 15 degree angle. And you're pushing it into the armpit again. So picture that path of lymph nodes that kind of um, walks everywhere. Imagine that picture laying over your own body. And again, five to 10 strokes. And then I'm gonna do um, the outside of my breast, or I guess the inside of my breast. And I'm just following the outside 10 times. And I'm gonna go under and kind of lift up into the armpit, but getting the outside of the breast here and going right up into the armpit. This might be easier <laughs> to do it like this. I don't know, you figure it out, whatever's comfortable for you. So it doesn't have to take a long time. It can just be a few strokes. And then what I do like to do is in Gua Sha, they have the traditional move, which is scraping, where you literally just scrape the skin really quickly. And that really invigorates the area, brings a lot of life to the area, moves things quickly. So I do like to kind of put my hand over the middle of my breast and just scrape really quick. I think that this is really good for the skin to bring anything that needs to the surface of the skin or ask it to move on. I'm not pressing hard. I'm just going fast. So the harder you press, you actually skip the lymph system and you're going down towards the muscle, which is not what you want to do for this practice. So light is good. If you're like, I don't think I'm doing anything. I'm going to go harder. It's not the answer. Light is good. The lymph literally sits there right under the skin. So you just want to do everything light. So when I'm scraping, I'm not going hard, but I'm just going quick. And you can do that on your chest. Your skin is going to get red if you're doing this, but it should dissipate, okay? And you can scrape kind of around the side and just push things into the armpit. And you can scrape on the other side as well too. Kind of in between the breastbone is nice again, going gentle, but it's just kind of waking up the area. And then you can just press things back into the arm. following that line, like on the diagram. Okay. And that's it guys. That is a quick little video on using your dry brush, 
your gua sha, a DIY massage oil, good essential, essential oils, um, and kind of what the lymph system does. So the lymph system is important because it is one of the systems in charge of finding the bacteria, finding those infections and viruses, and literally collecting it into its fluid, carrying it to a certain site to rid, get rid of in your body. So it's really important that we always are keeping the system active and activated and healthy so that um, our immune system can stay on top of what it needs to stay on top of. Let me know below if you have a favorite breast oil or um, essential oil to use for the breasts. Let me know in the comments below. Other people would love to hear that. Let me know um, any experiences you have with gua sha mas massage on the breast uh, and what your favorite tools to use are for this method. Thank you again for joining and I will see you guys next week for another one. Bye.